Hey everybody, Michael here once again. Welcome to the YouTube channel for my global documentary series about urbanism, the life-size city. I like keeping things simple. Today I want to show you an excerpt from the season 3 episode from Buenos Aires. I think we've all learned by now that when the tech geeks in Silicon Valley with all of their millions and billions in venture capital money tell us that they are going to save the world, yeah, we need a big grain of salt for that. I love discovering people who have simple solutions for very serious problems. And that is what I want to show you today. An amazing system that they have in place in Buenos Aires, also in Brazil, where they heat up water tanks using recycled cans and bottles, providing hot water to low-income families in remote areas of the city who have never had hot water before, and they do it in the course of an afternoon and it completely changes these people's lives. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this. Let's go to Buenos Aires. As we head to the outskirts of the city, I can't help but notice the affluent gated communities bordering rapidly expanding informal settlements. Here the divide between the haves and the have-nots is glaringly evident. Pablo. Hi, hey, how, how, how are you? Doing? Good, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. And you? All right, Pablo, give me a yes. little bit of context. I know I'm about 40 kilometers away from Buenos Aires, yes. but uh, what, is, what is this neighborhood? What is this, how would you describe so, this place? Th this neighborhood is called Salas. It's a, it's a vulnerable neighborhood, and we're building solar collectors for families that do not have access to hot water, and we're building everything with reuse materials. So, for example, plastic bottles, yeah. aluminum cans, and tetra bricks. With all that, uh, that is usually burned here, mm -hmm. we're going to build a solar collector that is going to be giving hot water to the families 80% of the year. This is a, a very, you said a vulnerable yes. neighborhood, very low income? Yeah, low income. Why don't they have hot water? Is it because there are no pipes out here or they have no way of heating the water that they do have? There, there are no water pipes. Okay. They, they are pumping the water from the ground. Usually they heat water with gas and then they, they wash just with a, with a jar. So they are not used to having a shower in their houses and we're building exactly that for them. Just like parts of Brazil, temperatures in Buenos Aires can hover around the freezing point in winter. So when Pablo and his friends saw someone in Brazil use homemade solar panels to heat things up, they decided to give it a try. And today, I'm helping them build two new hot water systems for local families in dire need of better amenities. We're going to give it a shape to it, and we're going to put the pipe inside. Right. And that's going to absorb the irradiation. It's going to conduct it to the pipe. It's going to hit the pipe and hit the water. So you're going to stick it in, in like that, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. We're going to do that. All right. I mean, these cans here, I mean, this is this could also be their garbage. Yes. Right? And the plastic bottles and whatnot, right? So yes. they're actually reusing what they're using. Right? Yes. Yeah. And if not, that's been burnt in the neighborhood. So imagine uh, arriving to a neighborhood and telling them that this can is going to, instead of being burned, it's going to give them hot water, that's, that's just crazy. At, at first, they don't believe you, yeah. but when they put their hand and the, and the shower is hot, they, they just say thank you. All the way. Yep. Here's how it works. Volunteers collect discarded material and learn how to build the solar heaters. The money raised through workshops and donations fund the water tanks and pipes. Before you know it, you're pumping hot water to the people who need it at a very low cost. Added bonus, the project encourages a respectable amount of recycling, and that is desperately needed here. In Argentina, only 30% of plastic bottles are recycled. Compare that to 70% in Canada, or 93.5% in Germany. The people here have their work cut out for them. But Pablo and his gang have jump-started a whole new process. So just painting a can with some mats 
Yes. Black paint is going to heat up the water in there. Yes. And that's crazy. And it's going to work during winter in Buenos Aires. Yeah. And that is just so incredibly simple. Yes. <laughs> so we will go house by house. Yeah. And usually when we will do it one, with one family, they're going to recommend it to another family that needs it or to some friends, for example. Yeah. That's, and it, that's a community, right? Yes. Everybody talks, right? Exactly. Yeah. This one is going to do the greenhouse effect. So basically all the irradiation that is going to come here, it's going to stay. The next thing that we're going to do is put a second it's layer like the second of water. One here, right? Yeah. No, is there a second one there? Yes, yeah. th this one is the second one. Okay. And we will have a small layer of air that is going to act as insulation. Okay. So it's on you know, pretty cold days in Buenos Aires, it's yeah. going to still work and it's going to keep the water for the family. So, so here, what we have is like the second layer of, of, of bottles. Yeah. Just put. Oh, that's, I mean, just, it's hot to touch, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Imagine inside the, yeah. the can, it's really, really hot. Put the roof. Hola, chicos. <laughs> this is like, from the top of the solar collector, it's going to go directly through a pipe to the middle of the tank. Mm -hmm. And through the lower part of the tank, it's going to go to this pipe and it's going to do the whole solar collector, and it's going to go up from the lower part of the solar collector, mm -hmm. and it will start going up. Once, once it gets heated, it will go up because it gets less dense, basically. Right. That's Wait. how it works. How many of these have you installed? We have installed 154 till this day. Today, we're adding two more. Two more today? Yes. OK, and the another question is, I mean, how yes. long does that last? Well, we have built the first one till four, uh, since four years, and mm -hmm. it has been working. And we're waiting for it to work for at least 10 years. The families who get these systems don't have to pay for anything, but they do have to help by collecting the material and working with the volunteers. Permiso. <laughs> How did you hear about the, uh, the hot water system and, and this guy? Is this going to change? Uh, your daily life, having this? Yes, obviously. This And are they going to tell other people in the neighborhood about it? Le pregunta si les van a contar a más vecinos y a más conocidos sí, sobre sí, el colector sí, solar. Sí, sí, sí. Todos van a enterar y lo vamos a recomendar y vamos a hacer que traten. Ok, but we have to see if it works first. Ah, ¿Eh? going... Dicen, tenemos que ver primero si funciona. Ahí, ahí está. Y puedes tocar cuando quieras. Ow, yeah, okay, ok, that, that, that's actually hot, yeah, right. Damn. It's really hot, and that's only with the sun's energy. Yeah. <laughs> that's really hot. <laughs> totally hot. Well, that is so cool. <laughs> you have it open source, so other people can run with it, but what's, what's the vision, man? Yes, we want Latin America to take it to embrace this solar collector, and as well, we want to build uh, thousands of solar collectors in, in Argentina, and by that time, we're not only going to be having an impact on the family's life, but we're going to be having a huge environmental impact, and that's what we are aiming for. Yes.